Hi. Alright, so there's this keyboard. It's called the Cyberboard. It was inspired by the Cybertruck, which honestly, I think the Cybertruck looks really weird. But then again, what do I know? I, I make keyboard videos. So the company behind this keyboard, Angry Mel, actually had probably one of the worst ideas, which was to send me a keyboard. And so they sent me one. See, I told them I wasn't going to do a full review of this keyboard because that would be really boring. So let me sum it up. This is the Cyberboard. Fully metal, pretty cool. And for those of you who don't know what's so special about this keyboard, it can do this. It basically has like funky LEDs built into the front. It also accepts wireless charging for the battery inside and Bluetooth, which nobody really cares about. So I slapped on some MOBAs and Red Samurai onto this and it sounds pretty good. And all this for the low price of 570 American dollars. And now that I got the review out of the way, I think you can make a better cyberboard at a cheaper price. Oh, by the way, do you see the cables I used to plug in the keyboard? That's actually part of today's sponsor, Cable Mod. With a fully fledged cable configurator to the meticulously handcrafted cables, Cable Mod is your one stop shop for custom keyboard cables. Use code Squashy for 10% off in the link below. The cables are actually pretty sick, I, I really like them. Okay, so first, we need to figure out what makes the cyberboard the cyberboard. Do you know what makes the cyberboard the cyberboard? Oh, is it better at music? And yes, you are correct. It is the sharp edges of the keyboard and the massive LCD display at the back of the keyboard. So we're going to be working on the ladder first. This wasn't worth a joke. <laughs> So for the keyboard LED, I need to find this 4 tile LED board. I mean, it's nowhere as big as the cyberboard one, but you know, we're on a budget. It's, it's only $8 and... So for the LED board to work, I actually hooked it up to this microcontroller, which is kind of, kind of jank. And to get this microcontroller to work, I actually compiled some code together to get it to work. Okay, when I say compile, I kind of meant stealing other people's pre-written code and then just spamming upload until it works. You see, unlike Michael Reese, I'm actually really dumb and I slept through all my coding classes. But you know, I managed to make it work, so it, it's somewhere, it's something. This also actually has built-in Wi-Fi, which allows me to control it through my phone. All I have to do is actually use Wi-Fi, send some data over, and it will update accordingly. That is pretty cool! So with the LED screen done, let's move on to the case. So to make the case, I actually 3D model a case which looks like the cyberboard but with enough changes so I don't get sued and 3D printed it. I actually had to 3D print it in two parts because my 3D printer was way too small to print the whole keyboard. After which I took the rest of the parts and slapped them together to form the cyberboard, a 2. For about as much as shipping as the real cyberboard, you could be yourself this. Yeah, I know it's a little ugly, but I mean it's still version 1, you know, the first version. And we all know that the first of everything always turns out worse than the rest. I mean, I should know that, I was my parents' first born. But you see, that's not the point. The first of any good product always innovates. Now you see, I could just call it a day and just say that this is my DIY cyberboard, you know. 3D printed keyboard, it would've been, it would've been a great title, it would've been a great thumbnail. But I still feel like we're missing something. Okay, the cyberboard is based off the cyber truck, but what does the cyber truck have? that my cyberboard doesn't. Have you ever wanted a keyboard? No, not just a keyboard. A keyboard that innovates. A keyboard that elevates. A keyboard that is out of this world. From the makers of the keyboard table, the MacBook, and the Dream Board comes the all new revolutionary keyboard, the Cardboard. C cardboard. With a stunning all in two design and a front display with a max resolution of about 64p, this is the next generation of keyboards. Or, or cars. Hi, I'm John Lee, maker inventor and designer of the cardboard. You know, people have asked me time and time again, why did you make this? Like, what, what's the point of it? And to that I say, courage. With a two-wheel drive system, this keyboard can not only go forward, but also backwards. Now you may be wondering, where's the left and right feature? I mean, shouldn't every car be able to turn left and right? Well, my skilled team of highly engineers actually couldn't figure out which direction left and right was, so they decided to remove the feature entirely. Courage. You thought the cyberboard was cool because it could be wirelessly charged, but we wanted to one-up the cyberboard. The cardboard can actually charge devices wirelessly. To make sure the cardboard is actually a great success before we launch it, we had to get people's reactions. So here are some performers that might have been bribed. So, this is called the cyberboard. Yeah. Oh my god. This is the cyberboard. Oh wait. Can you play? It's kind of cool, huh? Oh, shit. Okay. 
You know this is based on the Cybertruck, right? From Tesla. Oh uh, yeah. It's, it's kind of missing wheels, right? Yeah. But hold up. Do you hear that sound? Do you hear that sound? Oh my god! Oh shit! <laughs> it's a cyberball! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, wait, do you hear that sound? <laughs> do you hear that sound? What does it come on wheels? <laughs> it moves forward and backwards. Oh, it doesn't turn. Uh, we're working on that. Holy <laughs> shit! So, how much would you rate this out of 10? Dude, this is like your best invention. Here. I will give this a 10 out of 10. 7.27. She. <laughs> <laughs> this is honestly better than that. <laughs> you can, you can win your primary school robotics competition. <laughs> <laughs> is this the one you 3D printed? Uh, yeah. If it can't go left and right, I'm just gonna like. The cardboard will start shipping 1st November. And it can actually be bought right now by clicking on the subscribe button below. No, I'm just kidding, it's still in production. We had a really hard time getting a manufacturer on board with this idea. And uh, yeah, here's the footage. Okay, right now we're actually in the middle of nowhere and I'm gonna propose this idea to a manufacturer that I found. They specialize in keyboards, I guess. It's the only keyboard store in Singapore, so... Hi... Uh, I see you guys specialize in keyboards, right? Firstly, you, do you know the cyberboard? You know the cyberboard is... Yes, we are a cyberboard. Oh, you guys sell the cyberboard? We are the official cyberboard. Oh, you guys are official. Uh, it drives itself, if I show you. You know, it doesn't even go straight through. Uh, we're working on that. We would actually like to produce this keyboard, and we're wondering whether you guys are able to, you know, produce this keyboard. No. It's a hard no. No. Yeah. We don't. We can't, and we don't want to. So the company at hand really weren't on board with the idea, so I had to step in and make them on board with it. Hi, I would like to buy your shop. All this and more for the low price of only 5000 So yeah, thanks Angry Mail for sending me a cyberboard. You can actually find this keyboard link below. I'm not affiliated or sponsored by them. But honestly, I think this video will piss them off. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and always remember to